You snuck up on me again. Oh well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Welcome back to Aquaz. Uh, in this video I want to show you guys um, the new setup that I've had going for a fair while now. This tank's been cycling for about two months. Um, I've taken my time with getting this one to cycle ready for the new fish um, that we are due to get this week so I'm super pumped about that so I thought I'd better get along and actually get the video out of me actually doing this tank. Now, funny side story was I overlooked the footage of me actually setting this tamp tank up and uh, there's a lot of uh, formally clad stuff of me that I didn't realise I might as well have shot this whole video in my undies so I've completely scrapped the setup of this tank and I'm going to go through it with you guys and explain what's in it and how I did what I've done to get it to this point ready for stocking. So let's go. As you can see with the substrate, I there's two different shades of sand. At the bottom, I had a little bit of leftover um, river sand, so I put that in the bottom um, just to bulk it up a bit, and then went with the Aqua Natural African Cichlid Aragonite um, sand on top. <clears throat> uh, was super stoked with this, and it filled it out, filled out the tank quite nicely. Uh, next thing I did with this tank was the black background um, Instead of actually painting the back of the tank itself black. I still had a old um, Backdrop from when this tank was originally set up What I did was actually take the old backdrop off and spray paint the backdrop itself and then put it back on uh, It's created this little glossy looks to it, but I'm um, super stoked with it and it gave me that black background So with the rock I went with a black and white zebra rock um, there was something about this that I just fell in love with. It um, looked amazing and as I put it in the tank onto white sand it's made it look even better and it really brings out the white stripes in the zebra rock. <laughs> Funny story with this one, uh, Jetta couldn't believe how much I actually spent on these rocks. She couldn't believe that I spent nearly $200 on rocks but there you go. I'm super stoked with it and super stoked with how it came out. So heating, I went with a 200 watt Aqua One heater and put the black sleeve on it just to make it um, blend in with that black background, just that little bit. Filtration, we've got the Acquiesce 500 Aqua One canister filter and run a secondary sponge filter, big sponge filter just on the side, not running at the moment but um, has been running as we've just done a water change in this tank So there you go guys Just another unveiling on the fish room and the African tank that is set up and we're ready for fish and will be put in soon so Like subscribe do all that fun stuff. Don't miss out when we get to put fish in this tank I'm going tomorrow to actually purchase these fish. So Thanks again. See you in the next one